Throughout the ages, mankind has created an astonishing array of technologies, devices, and weapons that have been lost to the pages of history. What would it be like to go back in time and experience the most ingenious inventions of the past? Our our team of master craftsmen has agreed to find out. Together, for the first time in history, we've asked the guys at the Scare Factory to bring back to life the most creative, inspired, and deadly inventions of all time. The goal is simple, to relive the past by exploring experiencing and surviving history. Columbus, Ohio, home of the Scare Factory, a group of artists and builders who aim to recreate some of history's most frightening devices and ingenious inventions and test them out on themselves. So what we're doing here at the Scare Factory is something called experimental archaeology. There's no blueprints or research material on most of the things we're gonna build here. We're basically gonna start from a picture or a story, and we're gonna try and recreate this device with a modern twist. The team has just started a new set of historical experiments, beginning with a reconstruction of one of history's most effective siege weapons, the battering ram. Attacking armies have been using some form of the battering ram for over 4,000 years. The rams ranged from plain logs and beams to sophisticated siege engines. 4,000-year-old Egyptian paintings depict some of the first simple battering rams. The Assyrians perfected a wheeled, covered form of the device. Alexander the Great expanded his empire through his use of the ram. Even the Vikings used it during their unsuccessful siege of Paris. To build and test a battering ram, the guys will have to recreate a medieval battleground. And that means they must also construct and defend a fortress. So they have divided into two teams, with Chad's Mongolian horde on offense and Eric's Team Awesome as defense, the shop floor is already at war. We're the offensive team. We're going to be actually knocking down the gate. The actual battering ram is going to be made out of four six by six posts and then banded with steel. We'd like to try to make it solid if we can. The first idea was there's no way we we're going to build one that we were going to hand carry. I was like, absolutely not. So the first idea that came to mind was build a, a box and hang it from chains, and then we'll swing it and you know put some tires on it. Though a battering ram can be as simple as a large, heavy log, Chad has decided to recreate a more elaborate construction. His battering ram will hang within a wheeled support frame, complete with a roof and walls to protect his men from counterattacks. In ancient times, this type of siege engine featured walls made of wet animal skins to repel flaming arrows from above. 